Good morning, YouTubers, fellow reloaders. It is a rainy, wet, cold, and windy morning this Saturday weekend. And I thought, wow, what better time than to make a video, especially considering what I recently learned and come across, which is why we're looking at my most current selections of powder handling measurement equipment otherwise known as scales on the left and the right and tricklers slash other instruments in the center and uh, i'll share with you what uh what caused this video idea because of something i recently uh recently learned of the end of the year, today being, you know, December 10th-ish, I think. The end of the year is interesting because a lot of the uh, reloading manufacturers will announce uh, the following years or the upcoming years new product announcements. And I can remember back in the day, prior to this, the original bench scale, I think they announced it one late year, you know, the equivalent of October, November, December-ish. And it took like eight or nine months for the product to actually ship, which is really frustrating when you think about uh, product announcement and weight. And the most recent example of that has been the Magpul MBUS 3 sites, which I think I did videos about for almost two years, because every time you looked at their website, it said coming next quarter, coming fall, coming winter, coming spring, coming summer, coming fall. It was just ridiculous. Uh, I would prefer they didn't create the Hysteria, the Hypium, uh, which is only normal marketing so that people don't buy other products and wait for a particular brand. As you can see, I'm a Hornady fan when it comes to scale. So my uh, first electronic scale, non-battery operated scale, was the previous version to uh, the M2 bench scale, the original bench scale. Loved it. Uh, out of the gate, I think the first one lasted... Uh, slightly over a year because when I called Hornady that's when I found out about their one-year electronics manufacturing warranty as opposed to you know their presses having a lifetime warranty and we all know where this stuff is made overseas with our G, our friends of G. so um, this eventually got replaced with a second bench scale that lasted and is still uh, still a valid scale Maybe my son will inherit that. Uh, and this was a gift from him a year or two ago at the holidays. And this is my go-to scale. Love this scale. And I have a bad habit, my OCD, of leaving all the plastic on everything uh, where it can be. So uh, this is my go-to scale, and I absolutely love this scale. So for most of what I do, this scale is what I would say my 90% go-to. And if I'm doing a very quick... Uh, measurement, uh, maybe a one-off, I'll use a lead dipper. Again, maybe a couple of rounds, I'll use the hand trickler. And if anything that I'm doing, maybe a ladder round of whatever that I'm doing more than a couple, I'll potentially do the electronic trickler. Uh, and then for something, uh, this is really great for my uh, 416 Barrett rounds, where keying in whatever number I want to, and then having it do electronic drop. So uh, for large, uh, consistent runs, this has been uh, a great machine. Uh, and I did a couple videos on this originally, because out of the gate, I think uh, it wouldn't zero. I found out what the problem was on the, the pan for zeroing, but uh, this has been years of consistent use. Uh, this doesn't get as much use, but has been uh, very reliable. Uh, I love the design changes in terms of how they've made it more compact from the original, because I had the original version of this. So again, if somebody were to say, what's your preference in scales, obviously, uh, I'm a Hornady fan. So now we'll talk about why uh, this video was thought of. And that's because Hornady has announced for 2023 a precision lab digital powder scale to compete with what I would call the higher end uh, scales uh, that whose names escape me because it's not my sweet spot. And this price, this is uh, Graffin Sons, uh, so this price of $430 is uh, 
a little out of my price range for the value that this would bring to me. So for the match grade shooter who needs a uh, hundredth of a, uh, a uh, one hundredth of a grain measurement, that's probably very, very justifiable. For me, I don't need a hundredth of a grain. Tenth of a grain is good enough for me and what I do in my plinking. So when you look at, and this is midway uh, as of this morning, when you look at what this M2 bench scale costs today, $185, and you know, depending on who has what on sale, Amazon has this for $100, nearly $100 more than this price, which I think is completely outrageous. Uh, and I paid less than this when I got this a year or two ago, whenever the videos went up a few years back. Um, but again, just to give you a sliding scale price comparison, a tenth of a grain, tenth of a grain, hundredth of a grain, but these two are closer in comparison. So uh, what Hornady has done has taken this concept and built it into a higher precision bench scale with its enclosure. Uh, I think this picture is a little better for, you know, seeing the enclosure that I'm guessing this lid can come off and this looks like it's on hinges so it can open up. But uh, there's nothing that I do uh, at present that would justify uh, 429, 430 from Graf and Sons. Uh, Midway has it at roughly 450. Again, coming soon. Coming soon means how long? Because I remember when this was coming soon for many months, and the original bench scale was coming soon for beyond many, many months. So, uh, this is the uh, the marketing machine in action to create the uh, the want, need, and desire factor. Again, out of stock. Um, at this present time. So I don't think this is actually available in the market space right at this minute. And again, it says it's new for 23. So um, I would guess it'll be out sometime in 23. And maybe I'll do a follow up video to see the price, the uh, both the price and the uh, uh, availability difference when it actually ships. But uh, again, for my needs, uh, this has been the go to. Uh, this is the convenient for large runs slash repeatables. Um, in terms of uh, hand loading when I'm not on a progressive press. So uh, essentially rifle, uh, some type of rifle, because I do not load any bottleneck brass or rifle brass on, uh, on a progressive. So this is my go-to uh, uh, arena when it comes to scales. Again, this is number one combination of, and then depending on what I'm uh, loading in terms of uh, maybe a larger rifle run, uh, I would bust this out, but uh, they've been uh, excellent performers for me. I don't have a, a single negative thing to say. Somebody pinged me earlier uh, on this scale, and this was another reason uh, I thought about the video, because they asked what the warranty was. And I said, uh, especially based on experience with the first bench scale, that uh, my first one went uh, out of warranty when I called Hornady about, uh, I think it was the LCD uh, going bad flickering uh, they're like yeah it's out of warranty it's only one year warranty uh you can send it in we charge you to repair it so i'm like no nah, it's not worth it um so it's a one year warranty on the electronics in fact on page seven of this user manual instruction manual whatever you want to call that it specifically says uh one year warranty and somebody else pinged me same guy about after warranty said i thought all this stuff was made in the u.s and uh, their presses, Hornady presses, I believe, uh, and I could be wrong, are still assembled slash made. I don't know if their uh, you know parts come elsewhere and they just assemble here, or they're actually manufactured. Parts are manufactured and assembled here in America. But I believe their presses are still U.S. manufacturer and uh, and lifetime warranty. Everything else is a limited, uh, uh, especially when it comes to electronics, limited warranty. Uh, as they are made by uh, our friends, friends of G. So that will do it for this morning. Uh, back to the heat and the dryness and uh, packing this stuff back up on my bench. Later all.